Um, I got another real simple recipe for you today. It's quick and easy double crust chicken pot pie. Uh, there's only like four or five ingredients and it goes together really simple. So let's get started. Okay, what we're going to need for our uh, easy and tasty double crust chicken pot pie. Can of cream of chicken soup. Can of cream of potato soup can of mixed vegetables, drained, two cups of cooked diced chicken, black pepper, quarter of a cup of milk, and uh, one of these the deep dish pie crusts. There's two of them in the package and that's exactly what we need. So let's get started. Vegetables. Now I tell you, this is real tough, folks, so I hope you're writing all this down. It's a real complicated recipe. Cream of potato soup. I got this actually, got this off the radio one morning, stuff the radio station that we uh, used to listen to, used to have a recipe Thursday. And Every Thursday they would try a new recipe, and uh, I believe it was uh, Sarah Hunter actually found this. And so we thought, well, that sounds really good. I think we'll try that. And so we did, and it's been a real big hit with our family. And it is, it is nice and hearty. You know? It does fill you up. And there's that. And... A quarter cup of milk. And let's put in our chicken. Now I'll just use my hands. I just boiled this chicken. It's boneless, skinless chicken breast. If you want to, I suppose you could use dark meat, but we both like the chicken breasts the best, so. That's what we always use. And just stir this up real good. Yeah, I think it's like a quarter teaspoon or something of black pepper. I just kind of do it to taste. A few good coarse grinds. So what I like. I like simple recipes that are hearty, and I'm sorry if it's like, you know, when you're when you're a busy family and you've got a lot of things going on, or you drive drive to work quite a ways both directions. By the time you get home, it's like I don't have time for gourmet cooking where a recipe takes like 35 ingredients. I just don't have time for that. I like to enjoy my life and. If I can make a good recipe and it's tasty and it doesn't take forever, then that's what I like. So, so you see the chicken and stuff in there. So on to the next part. Fill our pie shell with this. So like I said, make sure that you get the deep, the deep shell pie crusts. Because if you don't, it's not going to hold this. Because <laughs> this will be piled up kind of uncoordinated because I'm not left-handed. <laughs> so I said, just try this. I mean, you know, I, I guarantee that you will like it. It looks simple and it's like, simplicity is good. I'm sure my grandmother never cooked beef wellington or never had goose liver pate, even though those are gourmet foods. I do remember my mom telling me a story one time about, I guess she went to some kind of a fancy dinner and they had a shrimp cocktail that they were serving. Well, my grandma, she grew up and they were just poor folks. They didn't, weren't real cultured and, you know, just kind of grew up on a farm and she said that the uh, shrimp cocktail reminded her of grub worms. 
Jeez. Since the shrimp cocktail looked like grub worms, you wouldn't eat it. Okay. I've uh, pulled off two pieces of wax paper. Oh, I guess by about a foot square. And this pie crust is a little bit dry. So what I'll do is just lay this out like this. I'll take my other piece of wax paper and my trusty rolling pin. Better behave. I'll almost kind of roll this out. Like I said, I think this pie crust is just a little drier than I'd like. Finally, <laughs> kind of aggravates me. It's so dry, but I've got this rolled out the way I want. So I'm gonna take and peel this top one off. What I'll do, take and put my roller up underneath this. Here's the tricky part. Put this underneath here. To kind of get it started. And just roll it across the top of the pie. That's what we're bringing. Okay, every good cook can survive a disaster, so that's just what I did. <laughs> like I said, salvage it, salvage it. I said it ain't the prettiest in the world. But I'm gonna eat it, so I don't care. Let's see if I can show you real quick how I crimp the edges. Let's see if I can get this in the shot. Take and go like this around the edge of the, the pie. So what you want to do, if I can get this on video, push that in there like this. Then go to the next one, do the same thing. Just keep going around and around. I think I need to wet my fingers. Some people are really good at this. Normally it's like if the pie crust wasn't so dry, it would end up not looking a lot nicer than this. But this has got to be about one of the driest pie crusts I've ever had. But you want to make sure and seal the edges of this. Another way to do it is just actually take a fork and go along the edges of the pie with the fork. And let me show you that real quick. Just for an alternative if you don't feel like pinching it like that. Better wet this real good or it'll stick to this one too. You can actually just go along the edges of the pie and just crimp it down like this. Much like I said and stuff, if you're not comfortable with pinching it, this might work better for you. Kind of looks more like the little Swanson or banquet pot pies you get. See how dry this is? I don't know what the heck's wrong with it. So, want to cut a couple slots in the top for to let the steam out. 
and then we will cook this at 375 for 40 minutes and you do want to put it on a cookie sheet and then I'll take another picture of it when it comes back out of the oven. It's like I said, it's not real pretty right now, but hey, it's good. So, And here's a picture of the pot pie when it comes out. And I'll take a slice and cut it so you can see what the inside of it looks like. Chicken pot pie. Simple salad. A bottle. <laughs> Glass of Adam Pukta Reef Installer Wine. There's my glass of wine. So, there's dinner. Later.